Hi everyone, this video is an interview recorded during the Embedded World Conference. I recorded three interviews and one general video. Interviews with companies Accelera AI, Sima AI, STM32. You can find them on my channel in the coming week. In the interview I asked the questions that bother me the most as an AI developer. How to export models to the platform? What the limitations are? I am very grateful to all my interlocutors for the answers, which were all super detailed and super interesting for me. Let's go. Thank you, Nicholas, for uh, so you can ask my uh, answer my question. Yeah. And uh, can you describe in a few words your platforms and? Yeah, how it's work like. Sure. Thanks again for your for your time. So at Accelerator, what we do basically is developing a new kind of AI accelerators for edge computing. So we are bringing our own chip that we deliver with different kind of platforms. So we have M.2 uh, module like that where you can benefit from high performance, high accuracy, high power efficiency, and affordability of our technology. And then we also have PCI Express. Uh, card that is equipped still with our same AI chip and again performance, accuracy, power efficiency and affordability is where you know we differentiate compared to the other uh, suppliers. Yeah and uh, as far as I understand you're already selling this uh, uh, development, development platforms to test everything and to... yeah so almost uh, what we are currently finalizing is our production chip. Ah, okay. In the yeah. meantime we are offering already to some of our customers the possibility to work with our pre-production version of the chip by getting some of those evaluation kits that we are making with our partners so you can get an Advantech industrial PC, a Lenovo thing station, a Dell workstation, or you can even get, you know, for edge computing with ARM platform, you can get a Firefly that is coupled with our PCI Express card. Excellent, excellent, thank you. And can you tell me a little bit more about technical details, yeah. like uh, how to prepare neural network to run on your platform, what framework do you support? Yeah, so it's, it's very easy. We build our product and our SDK to make the life of our customer very, very easy. So one thing you just need to do is to bring your neural network that has been trained on a GPU, for instance, convert into a Onenix file, and then deploy directly in our SDK. Our SDK will take that and will quantize for you and will generate the runtime that is maximizing both the accuracy and the throughput. So there is no need from the user to think about how they can balance uh, you know, they can have a trade-off between FPS and accuracy. We take care of that for you by maximizing the two values. And as far as I understand, you quantize, uh, for example, if it's hard neural network, you quantize only partial uh, layers in it. Or, or is it like quantizing the whole network? Or Yeah, like and it's, it's, it's a mixed precision architecture. So yeah. that's, also, that's also very different to the other one, uh, other suppliers, where you need to check, to select between integer eight, yeah, what yeah. kind of quantization process you want to do. In our thing, we are using different uh, kind of things, integer eight and so on, and we make our own source in order to guarantee you a very good accuracy. So again, that's something like it's almost very user-friendly because there is not much you need to, to do on the quantization. You can work on the ne network to make sure that it works for your application, but when it comes to our hardware, we take your hands and we help you, you know, make the quantization with our compiler. Yeah, but anyway, we are living in the world where each new day someone exactly. publishes a new neural network, yeah. so you definitely have some limitations exactly. here. Exactly, exactly, that's a good point. So today we are offering, let's say we are compatible with the most famous neural network. So people yeah. using Yolo V5, Yolo V7, even Yolo V8 coming. Uh, mobile net v1 mobile net v2 resnet and so on our goal is to like say, be able to support all the standard network but we understand as you say that people are also bringing new network so for us it's not a limitation in terms of pure hardware it's mainly the time for our you know company and our team to integrate those new network into our hardware so as of today for instance talking about the transformers yeah yeah that's a good example a lot of people are using transformers Today, we don't support that. Yeah. It doesn't mean the technology is not able to deal with transformers. Yeah. It just means that 
as a SDK toolchain, we are not supporting that, but we are working on that for 2025. So we recommend our customer to, you know, to stay with us until we bring those. And but we are very happy to listen customer rights yeah. and to understand more what kind of neural network they use, so we can also improve our our SDK uh, value. Yeah, but for classic like Yolo V8, Yolo V5, and so on, you support the whole network, exactly. or or the last part with an MS, you do this. So yeah, yeah. our technology today, the way it's built is. We are mainly looking and working on the inferencing of the mm -hmm. network. So you have your yellow V8, we do the inferencing. When it comes to all the pre and post processing operation like the NMS operation, mm -hmm. today this must be in the host CPU. We cannot okay. deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> exactly. Yes, so yeah. we don't think it's a big issue. Yeah, uh, no, 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 as long yeah. as you know you are able to maintain the yeah. throughput and the accuracy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank it you. Was very okay. helpful. Yeah, thank thanks, you. thanks for your time. Thank you. Good.